Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 7th of 2019, well, it is titled Lines of Time. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken over in Russia and looking out over at the sky. And we see great star trails stretching across the sky. Now, why do we see star trails? Well, it's not the stars that are actually moving. In honesty, the stars do move, but very, very slowly and not something that would be noticeable to the naked eye in any kind of reasonable time frame. So they do slowly change relative to each other. But that takes a very long time because of the great distances involved. So they don't appear to change much in the sky. However, they do move and rise and set each day, not because they are moving, but because the Earth is spinning on its axis. As the Earth rotates on its axis from west to east, that causes the stars and everything else in the sky to appear to rise in the east and then set in the west. So that's what we are seeing here is we're seeing those star trails. Now you can notice towards the upper right and towards the lower left how they seem to tend to condense into circles. And that is because you're approaching the two poles, the north celestial pole off to the upper right here and just out of the outside of the image would be the position where the Earth's North Pole would intersect the celestial sphere. And that is kind of the anchor point around which everything appears to rotate. So if you could go look a little bit further up there, you would see the star Polaris. And it would appear to barely move because it is very close to the North Celestial Pole. The closer you are to the pole, the smaller those circles will be. And you can see those arcs in the upper uh, right uh, show a lot more curvature than the ones towards the middle of the frame. Towards the middle of the frame you're towards the celestial equator and essentially right between the poles and you get almost a straight line. Then as you go towards the left hand side you can see you start to see the arcs again and that's because you're heading in the direction of the south celestial pole. Now from the northern hemisphere you cannot see the south celestial pole it would actually be below the horizon but by see watching star trail like this you can actually see uh, the general direction as to where the south celestial pole will be. So long ago people thought that it was a great celestial sphere that was spinning around the earth and that the earth stood motionless at the center of everything. Um, that would mean that the stars were attached to this great celestial sphere and then spinning very rapidly around the Earth, causing them to rise in the east and set in the west. However, we now know that it is actually the Earth that is doing the spinning. The Earth is what is rotating and the Earth's rotation is then reflected in the sky. So it is the Earth that is actually doing the moving and causing the star trails that we see in the image today. So that was our picture of the day for December the 7th of 2019. It was titled Lines of Time. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Lines in Space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.